Say, God, we need more of your presence in this place. Because I need to carry that presence with me because of the things that I'm going to do tomorrow or the next day. Can I tell you, going into the jail and, and dealing with, with one particular dorm, every time you walk in there, you feel the spiritual oppression over this place. And, and I speak against it every single time. And I am waiting for the day that I can go in there with enough authority that the thing finally leaves. I don't know about you, but I'm not there. But that's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. Come on, put something soft on. I, wanna, I want us to pray. I want us to pray, church. What is too much? Psalm 27, 4, one thing I ask of the Lord that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord in his presence all the days of my life. God, I want to dwell in your presence. I want to dwell in your presence, oh God. Come on, you're here today and maybe you'd sit there and look at me and say, Pastor Rich, I don't even know Jesus as my Savior. Church, that's where it starts. Everything starts from that one place. You... I'm not going to say it that way. You know, I, I, I'm going to say this before I, I, I make that statement. I think it needs to be made. I was talking to my wife the other day, and we were at a restaurant, and, and I know the owners of the restaurant are, have been struggling with some things, and I know they're not believers in Jesus. And I asked her, I said, Wendy, how can we pray for these people to have great success in their restaurant when I know they don't believe in Jesus? Do they deserve the blessings of God? How many times are we praying for things, for people to be blessed and, and, and have peace when they have no desire to know Jesus? So to sit there and say, I don't know Jesus, but I want the blessings. Can I be honest? You don't deserve them. They're not for you. And that may be harsh, but that is the reality of the fact that you will not get eternal life. You will not have a blessed life. And what I really pray is, is that God deals with you until you turn your heart over. I can't pray a blessing on you. When you're living in sin and I know you're going to hell, I pray that God gets your attention with whatever means is necessary that you will bow your knee to him, you will submit yourself, and you will submit your heart. Because if you don't, the outcome is much worse than what you're dealing with today. So I want to ask you, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, come on, I want you to just come up here. I want to pray with you today. I'm going to show you I'm going to tell you of a prayer that's in the Word of God. Just come up here.